Hi all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abhishek. Today we are going to learn a new topic that is script and code. Okay, so for that I have prepared one PPT uh, for the definition purpose. So uh, what is a script include? Like a script include a reusable server side script or we can say the reusable Java script. Okay, we need not to select any table name along with uh, while uh, sorry we need not to select any table name while creating any script include okay uh, we can create a script include and whenever we require this script include we can call and perform the action okay so multiple functions are stored multiple functions can be stored under one script include okay and uh, properly there are three types of script include uh, classless one another is uh, class and class extending another class so uh, i'll be moving back to our instance just type here script include or t include for shortcut okay click on new Here is the home page of a script include we can say. So suppose we have we, we have to give some name uh, demo script include. The moment I click on tab button API and some inbuilt function will automatically be created. Okay, and uh, let me save this. Okay. So sometimes uh, it asks uh, to give an uh, role name. Okay, so I don't know why it is not asked this time. But if I click on client callable and save it again, better I can create a new one because uh, client callable is what we wanted to show you. Okay, we can see that if we erase this function, this is a classless. Okay. Just create a simple function and uh, we can start performing our actions. Okay. And this is the class one. Okay. And uh, I'll open it again from here. Demo assign. Okay. The moment I click on this client callable, you can see that it is extending another script include. Okay. So the third type is uh, a script include like classless script include extending another class. So this is another script include we can say if I right click on this and open definition. You will see this is this script include is and has some inbuilt functions with this. Okay. So the moment I checked on this client callable, this script include will inherit all the properties like whether the function, whether the declaration is done within this abstract regex processor, okay, can also be used under this script include. Okay, let me save this out. Now it is asking for a role. I'm giving ITIL. So three types of script includes are available and a script include can be uh, like they are used for multiple purpose. They can be called from client script, uh, from record producer, can be called from workflow, schedule jobs or anything where uh, we do not have direct access of server side data and we need some uh, actions to be performed uh, where we need some server side data or we are returning some value. We can use the script include. Okay, so today we have uh, today I have included one uh, use cases as well uh, to demonstrate like uh, uh, how we can use it. How first we will see how we can call in a script include and then uh, the action uh, which we can perform under this script include. So today's use cases in incident table if caller department is customer support so what is caller and its department i'll be opening the incident table okay 
so it is saying if we change this color suppose we have selected some another color here the alva and if its department it here the department is development if its department is customer support okay then its assignment group should be set to service desk and save the form then this assignment group should be uh, the service desk and it will save the form as well okay so how we can uh, perform this so the first thing which is coming in our mind is uh, when changing this color so we must be creating an on change client script and where we will be calling this script and group okay i'm going to modify this form i'll click on configure and then client script I'm giving them uh, check caller information. Yes, or we can give on change caller. On change, then client. Okay. And save it out. Okay. This is the client call level we have to pick. So this one. Okay. So I have already explained we can define function under this script and group. So suppose uh, uh, suppose our function name is check caller department okay then colon function okay so this is the function i have created okay and under this function we will check uh, what the caller department is okay then we return some value and that that values can be used in our on change client script okay so first we will uh, see the syntax like how we can call uh, the script include i'll erase this i'm writing it here uh, suppose where g equals to new glide index and then i'll give the name of the script and Okay, then for uh, function name, I'll add parameter add param sys pump underscore name. Okay, this is how we can call the function. Okay, now uh, we must be passing some value uh, like how it can check uh, what. Uh, department we need to check the caller department so the caller department uh, or the caller value we must be giving it from client side okay and uh, if we we all know uh, if you have an idea of a script include like this caller uh, suppose uh, we are calling we are changing it from adela to whatnot okay so the adela will be the old value and the new value will be the Bernard lobby okay or we can say the Bernard uh, Leboy society okay because it is a reference kind of field okay so passing the caller we must be passing the society okay which can be hold by this parameter new value ga dot add param sys from underscore caller and then it should be new value Okay, let me complete the syntax, then I'll explain. Call under this get XML, we must be passing callback function.
sort document element. Okay, so uh, in service now properly we have two methods to receive the response. One is the XML, other one is the JSON. So in this case we are receiving whatever the response we get from this uh, uh, script include. We are receiving it in XML format. And then using this syntax we are uh, converting this XML response to uh, attributes. Okay. And uh, how we are using this answer and uh, response each and everything is already uh, I told you that they are already de uh, defined under this abstract logics processor. So we need not to define. We can simply use them out. Okay. So the common structure is now ready. Need to get is the department name, the department of the caller. So uh, because it is on server side data, we must be gliding this uh, caller table. Uh, and it is user table in this case so where gr user equals to new client report and sys user table we will pass okay now we need to check uh, this id must be matching with our caller this dot get this is a common javascript syntax to receive the uh, value okay then we will query this table gr user uh, user dot query and if we get this record What I what I can do now? I can simply return the department. So I'll save it in a variable where user department equals to gr user dot department. I will again open and code. So we will not make mistakes. Uh, if we directly uh, directly uh, return this, so it because this department is again in uh, reference kind of field, it will return this as ID, and uh, I want it uh, should be the display value. So I can use this method get display value. Display value. Now return. Save this out. So now this answer value variable must be holding the value of department, the display value of department. So I can compare if this answer equal equals to which department? The customer support. So if I click caller add alarm department is customer support then add set g underscore form dot set value of assignment group what we wanted to set is service desk okay let me copy the sys id of the service test because it is again a reference kind of field. And I'll save this one. To validate, I am picking some incident. Okay. 
So for this incident, here you can see the caller. Caller is Joy Employee. Okay, and its department is Sales. Okay, if I give some another caller, maybe Adela. The moment I selected this caller, you will see it here. The assignment group is changed to service desk and it has saved the form as well because the caller caller's department is customer support. So, uh, so my use case is success. Okay. And I'll create a more use cases on uh, the uh, more scenario based use cases going forward. So please like, share and subscribe to the channel and uh, please post your comments if you have any doubts in into this thank you so much